Hi, this is Anna Jarrett, Director of Product Programs at GSNI. I am here to present today's Digital Cookie Training. Digital Cookie 8.0 is a program in its eighth year developed by GSUSA in conjunction with Little Brownie Bakers, which allows girls to take electronic orders for cookies. Digital Cookie continues to grow in usage and can be part of almost all selling methods. Cookies can be ordered and paid for online by the customer. Multiple delivery methods are available, including girl delivery or direct ship. The option to ship directly to a customer's home allow girls the opportunity to sell to family and friends across the country. Shipping fees are paid by the customer and the customer is informed upfront of the cost of shipping before placing the order. Cookies are shipped to customers right away, usually receiving within four to eight days, even during GSNI's initial order phase. Girls who get their cookie business started right away and let their customers know about the free shipping promotion on Friday and Saturday, December 17th and 18th. Please note this promotion is for customers only, not for girls and troops to stock up early for cookies in hand. GSNI pays the shipping costs for this promotion. Orders will be monitored. Abuse of purchases made by troops or girls may result in the troop being charged for the shipping cost. Troops and girls may not sell with cookies in hand until February 25th, 2022. To get started, parents and volunteers will receive their registration email for Digital Cookie on Wednesday, December 8th from Girl Scout Cookies with the subject, Register for the Digital Cookie platform today. Click on the green Register Now button in this email. Once you click on the link, you'll be on the digital order card site and prompted to create a password. Use your new password to log in. Remember to use the same email address where you received your registration email from. Watch and review the safe selling for smart cookies video with your Girl Scout. You cannot proceed any further until the video has been viewed. Read and accept the terms and conditions agreement. Click on the register button next to your daughter 12 years of age or under. Enter their preferred first name. A girl's email cannot be entered for Girl Scouts if she is under 13 years old, as the parent is the owner of the site. If you have multiple daughters, do this for each girl. If a Girl Scout you are registering is 13 years or over, on the Register My Girl Scout page, you will enter her email address. She will then receive her own registration email and follow similar steps to complete her own registration. Click on Access Site and you will be taken to the First Girls homepage. If you have not received your registration email, confirm the following. Check your junk spam promotions inbox. Confirm your Girl Scouts membership registration is completed. Confirm what email address is connected with your Girl Scouts membership. Confirm if you have opted in to receive marketing emails from Girl Scouts. If the four steps I mentioned are confirmed, follow these steps to receive a registration email. Go to www.digitalcookie.girlscouts.org slash login and click on need help to log in link. Read through the options of issues and use the links to receive the appropriate assistance. If this still does not work, please contact GSNI's product program team. Let's discuss how to set up your daughter's site if she is 12 and younger. Parents should log in with the email and password. If the parent has multiple roles such as leader or cookie chair, be sure to choose the parent as the role from the drop-down menu. Girl Scouts 13 years and over may log in with their own email and password used to get started or use their parents' information. Click on the Site Setup tab on the dashboard or home screen. There are four parts to setting up your Girl Scout site. Part A, My Sales Target. Girls will enter her total package goal for both online and offline sales. The calculator will show approximately how much the troop will earn in proceeds if the goal is met. Part B, My Cookie Story. Girls can tell their customers about their troop goal and why it's important. 
girls can also share what they have learned or hope to learn from the cookie program. Girls can update and change this at any point throughout the program. Part C, photo and video upload. Girls can choose to upload a photo of themselves or use a picture from the gallery. Or girls can upload a video of themselves or use the cookie boss video. Click on how to make a video for tips on making a terrific video. Part D, click on see your site and publish. This is what customers will see. So be sure to review the following things with your Girl Scout. Check that spelling and grammar are correct. Does it tell her story? Make sure the photo or video is displaying correctly. Is the goal accurate? If changes need to be made, click edit. Once everything is as you and your Girl Scout want it, click on approve and publish. Please note, if the button only says see your site, some required fields may be missing or no changes were made. Go back and check that everything needed was completed. Girl Scout 13 years and over logged in with her own information will click on see your site and submit for approval. A preview of her site will display and she can either make additional edits or submit for approval by her parent. Once the girl has submitted the site for approval, the parent must approve before it can be published. The parent will receive an email notification that her daughter's site needs approving. The parent should click on the green button, log into Digital Cookie, to be sent to the Girl Scout site preview. The parent should review the site and then either click on approve and publish or edit. If the parent edits the site, he or she then needs to click on approve and publish when completed. On the customers tab, Girl Scouts can add and delete customers individually import customer lists in bulk, send marketing emails, and export customer lists to save on your computer in a separate file. If your Girl Scout participated in Digital Cookie 7.0 last year and the same login email was used, her customers should still be listed. Click on a customer's name to view details about any online order history. Click on Add Customer to manually enter individual customers and their contact information. Only the first name field is required. However, to maximize marketing, girls should enter as much contact information as possible, including the email to have the ability to send that customer marketing emails. Once customers are added and ready to receive information about the girls' cookie sale, follow these steps. Click on the box in front of the customer the girl wants to contact and click on send marketing emails. Select which of the three emails the girls would like to send to the selected customer. Open for business, still time to order cookies, or thanks for your support. To find out more about each of these emails and see a preview, go to the Connect with Customers section of the customer page. If the girl would like to keep a list of her customers in a separate file, click on Export and follow the directions to save the file to your computer. Girls can also copy and paste the URL from her dashboard and use it in her own email, text, social media, and more. Remember, emails sent from your personal email accounts do not count towards the 18 unique emails required as part of earning the fall and cookie crossover patch. Girls love games. Click on the Learning tab for age-appropriate games, videos, and activities. Be sure to click on More Activities to see everything being offered. Digital Cookie 8.0 offers all program age-level appropriate cookie badges for your Girl Scout to earn. Please remember, these badges are not a part of the rewards and must be purchased separately at a GSNI Council store. On this tab, a list of the program age level appropriate cookie badges will be displayed. Earning the Cookie Entrepreneur Family Pin or Cookie Business Badge can be an important part of the Girl Scout Cookie Program. Girls complete the requirements for each pin or badge at her own pace. When the girl finishes all the activities for the step, click on the box indicating completed. 
A check mark next to the step completed will show on the badges tab. When all of the steps are completed, a congratulations message will appear and the colored in pin or badge will appear on the girl's home page. Please note, troop leaders do not receive notifications on what badges or pins girls have completed, and these badges and pins are not part of rewards. Parents will need to communicate completion of these badges to the troop leader. Congratulations, your Girl Scout is receiving digital cookie orders. Now what? For a shipped or donated order, there is nothing that needs to be done except sending a thank you email. But there is information your girl will want to know. Log in to Digital Cookie. Click on the Orders tab to see all orders received. Girls can review who purchased the cookies, how many, when, their method of receiving, and if the customer is in the Customers tab. Clicking on any of the orders will bring up details about the customer and their order. If the customer is not listed in a girl's customer contact list, the girl can click on the box in front of the customer's name and click on Add to Customers tab. This will give the girl the ability to send a thank you email as well as marketing emails to this customer next year. When a customer places an order requesting in-person or girl delivery, the parent, regardless of the girl's age, will receive an email with the subject action required. You have an in-person delivery request. Parent action to approve the order must be done within five days or the order will default to the customer's second choice to donate or cancel the order. Please note, if the parent approves an order before midnight of the day the order was placed, they will not receive an email. Click on the Log In Now green button in the email or go to the Digital Cookie website to log in. Then click on the Orders tab to see what orders are pending for your approval. View the list of all the orders that need approval. Each order will include the order number, number of boxes ordered, the customer's address, when the order was placed, and the number of days remaining for the parent to approve before it reverts to the customer's second choice. Click on the order for more details. When determining whether to approve, consider the following things. Do you know and trust this individual? Are you willing and or able to deliver the cookies to the customer within a reasonable time period? If the order is placed after the initial order, do you or the troop have the inventory or are you able to get the inventory to fill this order? If all looks good, click the boxes in front of the customer's name of the order you want to approve and click on Approve Order. Payment for the order will be processed after you approve. If, for any reason, the order cannot be fulfilled, click the boxes in front of the customer's name of the order you want to decline and click on Decline Order. Please note, the customer's credit card will show a pending transaction, but the card will not be charged until the parent approves the order. Some helpful tips and reminders. Once a parent completes the approval or decline process, the action cannot be changed, and an email is automatically deployed to the customer with the result. When an order is declined by parent or default after five days, the order reverts to the customer's second choice. After an order is approved, it moves to the section, Orders to Deliver. How to get the cookies and deliver to the customer. If the order is received and approved on or before January 30th, or when your troop leader submits the troop's initial order, you will receive the cookies for this order with your initial order delivery in February. If the order is received after initial order time, you will need to get those cookies from your troop leader to deliver to the customer. Once cookies have been delivered to all customers, log back into Digital Cookie and mark those orders that have been delivered by clicking on the box in front of the customer's name and click on Order Delivered. This action will move the order to the last section on the page titled Completed Digital Cookie Orders Online. This step is very important, so the inventory tab, which we will discuss soon, is accurate. 
New features are available on the My Cookies tab to help girls and parents track their overall sales, inventory, payments, due, and more. The first part is on the initial order entry. This is an option to enter the totals from the Girl Scouts paper order card. The deadline will be listed in the top right corner of the page. Council deadline is Saturday, January 29th. However, your troop cookie chair may need the information to be entered earlier and may change the deadline displayed or communicate a different deadline to the parents and girls in the troop. Remember to only enter orders from the paper order card. Do not include girl delivery digital cookie orders. Also, this information does not transmit into eBuddy. The Troop Cookie Chair still needs to enter manually into eBuddy, but there is an option to collect the information from girls and parents. eBuddy is the cookie management software that the Troop Cookie Chair or leader uses to manage the cookie program for the troop. The inventory part of My Cookie tab helps girls and parents keep track of girls' total sales and inventory. First is listed the girls' total packages sold. This matches the number of packages listed as sold for the girl in eBuddy and can include packages for booth sales or other additional packages in addition to girls' online orders and paper order card orders. Next, it is critical that all offline sales, paper order card, cookie craver orders, additional in-person orders not taken through digital cookie are entered by the girl and parent in the My Offline Sales section. If these are not entered, her inventory of packages available will not be accurate. The system knows cookies have been given to the girl, but if not entered, then it will look like the packages are part of her available inventory. Three drop-down menus across the bottom help a girl to track her inventory. The accuracy of these inventory menus depends on her troop cookie chair or leader entering accurately and timely, as well as the girl and parent updating her offline sales and marking when orders have been delivered. Current inventory lists how many packages have been received for each variety of cookie and how many have been delivered. Pending delivery lists how many packages for each variety of cookie are needed for unapproved and approved but not delivered digital cookie girl delivery orders. Inventory needed lists based on your current inventory available, how many packages the girl needs to get to fulfill her current outstanding online girl delivery orders. In other words, the pending delivery lists total packages needed for orders regardless of what a girl has in her inventory. Inventory needed lists what a girl does not have and needs to get to fulfill her girl inventory orders. Keep in mind, in many cases, the troop keeps all extra inventory of packages and a girl is only issued cookies as they are needed for orders. If this is the practice of the troop, the current inventory should always show as zero if all packages for online orders are marked as delivered and all offline sales are entered. The new financial section of the My Cookies tab reflects how much a girl owes the troop for cookies sold directly by the girl and how much of that has been calculated. There are four sections to the financials section and each can be expanded for more details. Initial cookies from the order card lists all packages, cookies of cookies sold and received on the initial order card for paper orders. It does not include packages sold through girl delivery for initial order since those were already paid for through digital cookie. As the title states, additional cookies received includes any packages of cookies received for more offline sales after the initial delivery. The payments reflects online payments and payments given to the troop cookie chair for offline orders, cash and or checks which have been entered into eBuddy as received by the troop cookie chair or leader. 
total balance due is the difference between the amount owed and the amount paid. And if all other information is up to date, what the girl owes the troop. As mentioned, we cannot stress enough for the girl's inventory and financials to be accurate, both the troop cookie chair and the girl and parent need to enter information accurately and timely. However, keep in mind, eBuddy is the ultimate source for calculating girl rewards, troop proceeds, and financial records of what the troop owes to council. The features on My Cookies tab is a convenience and informational source for the girl to help manage her cookie business. The numbers in eBuddy feed into Digital Cookie to populate the girl's inventory, which in turn also reflects rewards earned and finances due displayed in Digital Cookie. As you can see here, Adventurefuls is expanded to show one package was sold in the initial order and three more were given to the girl for additional orders. One package is marked as delivered and the other three are still showing as part of the girl's inventory. The three showing in the girl's inventory means she has extras. The order has not been marked as delivered yet or the offline packages have not been updated yet. The delivery settings part of the My Cookies tab allows a girl and parent to turn on or off the girl delivery feature of the digital cookie, making it active or inactive after initial orders are completed. A Girl Scout can also turn off a variety of cookie if she or her troop no longer has the inventory or is unable to get more of a certain cookie variety. Direct shipment of digital cookie orders is a great opportunity for your customers near and far. Many customers are willing to pay the shipping fees to receive their cookies earlier or to support a Girl Scout who is unable to deliver the cookies. Direct ship is also a safe way to sell to customers. So parents can help with this through social media promotion. Due to high demand and increased transportation costs on shipping companies, pricing did increase for the 2022 cookie season. GSUSA continues to negotiate each year for the best pricing available. Let your customers know GSNI is offering a free shipping promotion on December 17th and 18th for orders of 10 packages or more. Reminder, this promotion is for customers only, not for girls and troops to stock up early on cookies in hand. GSNI will be paying the shipping costs for this promotion all orders will be monitored. Abuse or purchases made by troops or girls may result in the troop being charged for the shipping costs. Troops and girls may not sell cookies in hand until February 25th, 2022. New this year, girls will be able to see their progress towards rewards earned from the digital cookie site using the My Rewards tab. Girls will see the total packages sold, as listed in eBuddy, see rewards earned, and will be able to select choices when applicable. Please note, reward selections do not automatically transfer to eBuddy, but can be viewed by the Troop Cookie Chair to use for entering. When a customer clicks on the Buy Cookies online link from the digital cookie email received, or on a girl's URL to her site, they can place an order. Customers enter the number of packages for each cookie variety and or donation boxes. Customers can choose to order a gift box for an additional fee if sending the cookies to someone as a gift. Finally, customers choose the delivery method of ship to me or have the Girl Scout deliver the cookies. If shipping is selected, the shipping charges will be displayed so the customer knows what the additional shipping fees are before completing the order. If girl delivery is selected, the customer will be asked for their second choice of donate cookies or cancel the order if the parent does not approve the girl delivery order. Customers pay for all types of orders at the time of placing the order. 
Once all information is entered, customers click on place order and receive a confirmation email. If shipping is chosen, another email will be sent with tracking information once the order has been shipped. The Digital Cookie mobile app can be downloaded free from Apple or the Android app stores. The mobile app is primarily a sales tool. Girls must have their sites set up and published before the mobile app can be used. If a parent has multiple girls or is the pseudo parent for the Digital Cookie Troop link, they will select the account being used after logging in and then will be at the homepage for that account. When a customer orders through the Digital Cookie mobile app, they are taken through a similar order and checkout flow as on the website. One difference is the delivery option of give cookies to customer now listed as in hand and eBuddy. This option is great for cookie booths or door to door sales with cookies in hand. Every troop listed in eBuddy will be set up with troop links. New this year, there will be two separate links available for shipped orders and in-person orders. Troop links are a great tool for both traditional and virtual booths. The shipping troop link will be listed on the Cookie Finder app by zip code starting February 18th through March 20th for customers to order cookies. All the troop needs to do is set up the site and customers come to you. A designated troop volunteer will need to act as the pseudo parent for the troop links. To get started, click on the start button on the troop dashboard in Digital Cookie. There are five sections on the troop dashboard. Let's start with the first two. Section one is for the troops Digital Cookie troop links. If set up, the URLs and other links are available. If not set up, the start button will be visible. Section two will let you know if any girls in the troop or the troop link have girl delivery orders that need to be approved. Section three allows the troop cookie chair to change the due date for girls and parents to submit reward choices. If nothing is changed here by the Troop Cookie Chair or Leader, the council due date will be visible to the girls and parents. Section four is sales information at a glance and progress towards the troop goal if entered in eBuddy for the troop. Section five includes four reports to help the Troop Cookie Chair manage the troop's digital cookie activity. All order data will show you details on every order for every girl. Initial order will show Troop Cookie Chairs the initial paper order card entry by girls and parents to allow the Troop Cookie Chairs to easily enter these orders into eBuddy. Cookie Badges will let you know if girls are completing any of the Cookie Business Badges and or the Family Entrepreneurial Pins. Rewards, which is not pictured here, will show the Troop Cookie Chair rewards that have been selected by girls when they have reached a reward level with a choice. The Troop Cookie Chair or leader can see many details for each girl in the troop on the My Troop tab. Progress towards the troop goal entered into eBuddy. Cookie site column indicates if a girl site is published and allows the troop cookie chair to see the girl's customer facing site. Orders to approve column indicates if or how many girl delivery orders need to be approved and what cookies are needed for the orders. Clicking on see details will provide more details including cookies sold, parent information, number of marketing emails sent, etc. If the troop link is published, those details are also visible here. The My Troop Orders tab is where the Troop Cookie Chair manages the troop link similar to a parent managing for their Girl Scout. From this tab, the Troop Cookie Chair will view orders, approve orders, and mark orders as completed or delivered that come through the Troop Cookie link. 
New this year, your troop using the troop cookie link can also offer customers the option to prepay for a cookie order and pick up at a cookie booth that your troop has scheduled. This is managed from the virtual booth tab in the troop view in digital cookie. First, however, a troop needs to have a booth entered and approved in eBuddy. Once a troop has booths listed in eBuddy, follow these steps. First, select an existing booth from your list by clicking on Add Pickup Option. Enter details on ordering restrictions for the customer. For example, we recommend requiring orders must be placed 24 hours or more prior to the booth so troops have time to organize the orders and get additional cookie packages if needed. If a pickup location needs to be edited or deleted, this can be viewed and changed as needed from the list of pickup booth locations. Important reminder, if a troop deletes a booth in eBuddy, the troop must also delete the booth from here so customers can no longer select it as a pickup location. Additionally, if customers have already selected a pickup location that the troop will need to make then arrangements to get the customer their order or contact counsel to cancel or refund their ordering. Offering this order pickup for customers is completely optional for troops and can only be offered using the troop digital link. When a customer chooses a pickup location for the order similar to the girl delivery order, these orders need to be approved within five days of the order being placed. This is done from the My Troop Orders tab. On the My Troop Orders tab, scroll down to the Pickup Orders section. Click the box in front of the orders to approve for pickup and approve or decline. After approved, the order will move below to Orders for Pickup. The orders to pickup can be sorted by headers or exported into a list. After an order has been picked up, click on the box and click on the order picked up to remove it from the list. Here are the steps from the customer view for placing an order for pickup at a booth. Number one, at checkout, the customer will have an additional delivery method to choose from. Ship, girl delivery, or I'll pick up the cookies. Number two, customers will be asked to enter their zip code to search for a location to pick up their order. They will then select the booth location. And finally, the checkout screen will automatically populate the address as the pickup location. After the order is placed, the customer will receive an email letting them know their order needs to be approved, and another email will be sent after it was approved. The confirmation email will also remind them of when and where to pick up their cookie order. Let's discuss the initial order tab. The total and types of packages for parent-approved girl delivery orders received by January 29th will be listed on a separate subline for each girl on the initial order tab in eBuddy. This line, labeled DOC Girl Deliver, will be gray and cannot be edited. Troop leaders and cookie chairs will enter the girl's cookies sold using her paper order card on the order card line. Do not enter any girl delivery digital orders or the cookies will be duplicated. The line even with the girl's name is her total initial order. This is what should be distributed to the girl after the initial order delivery is picked up and received by the troops. In eBuddy, the Troop Cookie Chair can look at the Girl Orders tab to see all digital transactions sold by a girl. Click on the Girl Orders tab, then click on the girl's name to see her digital orders and view and or add any other transactions such as payments received by the girl and or additional sales or cookies issued to the girl after GSNI's initial order time. All orders grayed out and listed above initial order are locked and were included with the initial order numbers. 
Cookies for additional orders and payments must be added here and the inventory column must be checked for the My Cookies tab on the girls' digital cookie account to be accurate. Troop Cookie Chairs should add a description in the comment field to help remember why the transaction was entered. The inventory column should not be checked for booth cookies being added to the girls. Shipped orders will be listed as ship with the quantity and varieties of cookies as well as the total amount paid in the paid column. If an order is for shipped or donated cookies, it will be listed as ship plus. Donated orders will be listed as DON with the total packages in the CGOC column and the total column as well as the total amount paid in the pay column. Nothing needs to be done by the troop cookie chair or leader for shipped or donated digital orders. After initial orders, digital cookie girl delivery orders will be listed as DLVR and will not list any cookie varieties or total number of cookies, as in the above screenshot. Only a total amount paid in the paid column and a credit, a negative entry, in the balance due column will be listed. Hand to customer orders taken through the mobile app will appear in eBuddy labeled as in hand. Similar to girl delivery orders, the cookie varieties will not be listed and only the total amount paid in the paid column and a credit in the balance due column will be listed. If a girl delivery order is received after submitting the initial order phase, follow these steps. Click on Girl Orders tab in eBuddy and click on a girl's name. Click on Add Trans. Enter quantities and varieties of cookies needed to fulfill the girl delivery orders. Click a check in front of the inventory column. If eBuddy does not allow you to add the transaction due to lack of inventory, you will need to order cookies from a cookie cupboard or do a troop to troop transaction. You may also search for cookies from other troops using the cookie exchange tab in eBuddy. Don't panic, adding these cookie varieties and quantities will not duplicate the order or the amount of money due. This entry will offset by the credit or negative entry in the balance due column. In hand customer cookies purchased through the mobile app need to be entered into eBuddy through the Girl Orders tab using the same procedures as for girl delivery orders. It is extremely important that the steps to enter all cookies distributed to the girls after initial order are entered into eBuddy. Failure to keep accurate records and entries causes errors in many areas including with credit to girls for all packages sold towards her rewards, the girl balance due, a girl's My Cookie tab in Digital Cookie. Thank you for viewing the Digital Cookie Training.